Welcome back to another episode of Muddy River Catfishing. So in my rafting the Rio on a monster catfish video, I asked you guys if you wanted to see how I made it. And a few of you said yes, you did. So I'll go ahead and make a video showing you guys how I put this raft together. Um, it was a great time. We had a blast. I would highly recommend it. You guys, uh, if you haven't done that event, get out there and do it. It's tons of fun. So let's get to the catfish and I'll, I'll show you how I built my raft. All right, so the first thing I did is I made a plywood platform to create the base of this thing. And as you can see, there's an old jewelry liquidator sign that I had. And this sticks out towards the fin the fin is actually part of the part of the sign and it was actually shaped like a triangle so you can you see that point there and on the other fin the other point so I just uh, I cut this radius I came in and I cut the radius to make the opening for the mouth and I left it straight across here so it, it just has a curve from there to the fin and then straight across and the reason I left it straight is because that's where I would be sitting and I just figured it'd be easier to to work it that way so all right so the, the plywood in the front is three-quarter inch thick so it's pretty solid the plywood sheets in the back are, are scrap pieces that I had laying around and they are I think probably three-eighths inch thick so they're not very thick but what I did to sturdy it up as I ran that one by from the plywood all the way down to the tail so I just attached that one by that that tied the ends together and gave me some room to work where I attached my PVC this is actually C PVC not regular PVC it's a little thinner it's kind of the Kind of like the stuff you, I guess it is the stuff that you find in a mobile home. So this is half inch CPVC. So that's the base. And the way I've got the dimensions for this is I put this jug in the front. I think it's about a 15 gallon jug and I gave it just enough room to fit in between each 2x4 which are 16 foot lengths and I chose 16 foot lengths just because that's what I had laying around the house alright so I propped up the back on a sawhorse so we can get a, a look at the underneath so I was telling you how I figured the front was the width of the barrel or the jug and the back is the same thing except I turned it sideways or a straight in line I guess so that's how I figured the spacing for the 2x4s and then the way I attach these is I just took a screw I just took a screw and doubled up my tie wire, twisted it up. You can see it's getting a little rust on it already. So probably tie wire was, might not be the best thing for this, but I used it just because it's laying around. 
my original idea was to take tie downs and drill holes in the in the plywood decking and strap it down but I just felt like using tie wire on this project so it's just two going around the barrel and then this one here is important it keeps the two that are strapping the barrel down from opening up to the sides and allowing it to escape so that's how I attach the barrels and you can see I've got one in the back this one here one there one on the opposite side three down the middle right there where that one is which would be this line here so there's three across there one under each fin an empty spot in the middle and the other one on the other side where the fin is so that's three six eight ten ten barrels and that was more than enough now the framework the framework of this was uh, pretty simple to do uh, all I did is I took a three quarter inch bit and drilled holes roughly every every two feet and um, I just figured the arches as I as I needed them what I would do is I would just stick the PVC pipe the CPVC pipe in there and let it run out the bottom and adjust it as, as needed and once I got it to where I wanted it I would tack it in place with a three inch screw there you can see Pull that flap. I don't know if there's enough light on that but you can see the pipe in there and then that's a three inch screw going going through holding that pipe in place and then I just cut off the excess on the bottom So that allowed me to figure these these arches. For the front here. Yeah. So I did arches all the way about to the middle where the where the dorsal fin is. I threw a T on the on the center of that arch and that's where the the pipe comes out for the dorsal fin. And then I ran these two just as stabilizers to keep it from rocking and sliding around. Now to get the 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 pointed back and the tail end I just bent the pipe I measured where I wanted where center would be and I just bent it and I I screwed it together with a inch and a quarter screw and those pan head screws are actually pretty neat because they uh, they they push the pipe out a little bit as it goes in so it gives it a little bit of a of a bow so instead of making it really really flat so i just did that the rest of the way down and that's the basic construction of this thing to make the windows 
to make the windows on this, I figured out roughly where the person where the person would be sitting and squared out the window. And then I just threw in a couple of chairs. This one threw it in and I actually did screw it down so if the bolt would rock or anything it wouldn't move and then I threw that little bench in back for the back seat but now that I've tested it and I know how much weight it could hold which this thing could probably hold four adults easily I'd probably put a bench all the way across here and in the front and I could sit two people in the back two people in the front and then somebody rowing in the in the mouth so this is the basic construction of my catfish raft the cloth that I draped it with was just a just a thin cloth that I bought at the fabric store it's, it's very thin it's got a nice shimmer to it what I liked about it and uh, this was probably the most expensive part of my project which was oh how many yards did I buy I think uh, twenty twenty or so yards if not more uh, it was uh, I ended up spending a little over a hundred dollars just for the for the cloth alone I think yeah but uh, then it just spray painted the gill cover there and the eye gave the fin some lines got them tied down so they don't flap in the wind but oh and then on this uh, on this little fin what I did is I just cut two pieces of leftover plywood and screwed them together trapping that CPVC pipe and screwing it to the pipe and that's pretty much it I attached the fabric as you can see with these little screws little half inch screws And that's how I built this raft. I actually did take some pictures so I'll do a little slideshow at the end of the video and you can see the pictures as I built it so there's my monster catfish for you guys alright guys so that's how I built my monster catfish raft I hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys have any questions uh, just send me a message and I'll answer them uh, as far as the build is concerned on this video or any, any other questions in general, I'll do my best to answer them for you. But as always, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.